to co-op with every purchase, that shit's a burden. I'm blowing trees and rarely earning and barely working. Stuck in a cycle that has no purpose. Afraid of the thought of becoming something that's worthless. I made all my decisions, now I'm trying to reverse it. Today I write with precision when I'm cooking these verses. I, I, I don't know if I'm meant for this. All the bright lights and the views and the mistresses. As a quiet dude, am I ready to enter this? I don't know, but I'm willing to learn it quick. I'm well equipped. So before I hit the stage soon, just know that the motherfucking game's doomed. What is going on YouTube? Once again, I'm here back with another video. Now to start off today, we will be doing some gameplay with this 99 overall conference semifinals master, Chris Paul, here in NBA Live Mobile. So make sure to click that like button and make sure to subscribe if you guys are new and turn on notifications so that you guys can be notified whenever I do drop a new video. Huge shout out to the notification gang. If you are one of the first 10 people to comment on a video, you will be a part of the notification shout out, all right? So whenever you guys click that notification, make sure to drop a comment down below. I always read every single comments, all right? And I try to heart every single comment that I can, okay? So if you guys wanna heart, if you guys want me to read your comment, or if you guys just wanna talk to me, leave a comment down below. Let's try to smash 70 comments on this video, all right? Um, Yesterday, I ended up completing the 100 overall Steph Curry, and uh, we did some gameplay with that dude. You guys have been destroying that video. I really appreciate the support you guys have been showing. So, uh, yeah, if you guys haven't seen that video, make sure to go ahead and check it out. And um, I'm also going to put Steph Curry back into the starting lineup. Uh, I felt like I was a little too hard on him. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I was a little too hard on my boy Steph Curry. So, um, yeah, we'll put him back in the starting lineup for now. I don't know why he goes, uh, I don't know why my overall went back down to a 99 when we put this Curry in, because if we throw back Bradley Beal in there, we're back up to a 100. I guess it's because we're matching the eight players. So I'm going to leave it right there for now, honestly. And then uh, after this gameplay, I'll fix the team back up. All right. So, well, no, actually, let's do this because that's probably going to give my uh chris paul some more boosts yeah we'll just leave the team like that for now all right um also later on today i will be doing some gameplay with this 98 draymond green so today will be a double upload day so make sure to stay tuned for that all right let me know in the comments down below which 98s you guys have completed so far and let me know if you guys are close to that steph curry all right and um, yeah, at the time I'm recording this video, we are currently at 92,996 subscribers. So we're only four subscribers away from 93K. We're most likely going to hit it by the time this video is out. So I just want to thank you guys in advance for 93,000 subscribers. It's been a long grind, you know what I'm saying? We were at 92K for a long time. And I'm glad that, you know, we're finally starting to grow again. So I appreciate all of the new subscribers for subscribing to the channel. I'm going to continue to put out videos every single day. And um, yeah, I just appreciate you guys, you know, dropping that like, dropping the comments and um, just constantly showing that support, man. You guys are the goats, you know what I'm saying? And I wouldn't be, you know, where I'm at if it wasn't for you guys. All right. So we're going to continue to grind. The goal for this month, okay, it is May 4th, all right, so we got 27 days left in May. Let's try to hit 94,000 subscribers by the end of May, all right, and then after May, we would only be 6,000 subscribers away from 100,000, all right, so the goal is to hit 100,000 this year in the next couple of months, all right, so let's see if we can get that done, all right. Also, I made a little community post earlier today. I will be holding, yes, I will be holding an NBA Live mobile tournament, okay? Now, I'm not going to be talking about the details right now because I'm still trying to figure everything out. But basically how it's going to work is I'm going to have, it's going to be an NBA Live mobile subscriber tournament. So you guys are going to be able to enter the tournament and the winner of the tournament will be um, getting a cash prize, all right? So... I'm going to start, you know, working out the details on that, on how I want to set it up. I'm going to talk to uh, a few of the YouTubers, you know what I'm saying, to see if they want to get in on this. And we're going to make something happen, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm trying to get this community popping again, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like this tournament will be something fire to do for the community. And I'm going to put up a couple hundred dollars as a prize for you guys. All right, so stay tuned for that. 
um, I'm thinking later on this week I will drop a video talking about the tournament okay and the tournament is most likely going to start in like one week or two weeks all right because like I said bruh I'm gonna be putting up like $300 for this tournament so I'm gonna make sure I do it right so let's take a look at this Chris Paul and let's take a look at his stats all right uh, Chris Paul honestly you could argue that he's the best 98 to get for this promo uh, he has 96 speed 98 dribble speed he has 96 dribbling 91 quickness 101 layup 95 inside paint shot 96 scoring with contact 102 mid-range 103 three-pointer and 94 on ball defense 95 steal all right and he also gives a playmaking boost which is nice so this chris paul honestly this dude's gonna be a beast i'm excited to hop into some gameplay He's definitely going to be better than that Steph Curry, bro, because I don't know what that Steph Curry was doing. Honestly, though, Steph Curry is still a good card to have into your team, all right? Because he's a shooting guard with 96 offensive rebounding, I think, and he has like 95 defensive rebounding. So when your opponent is playing against that Steph Curry, that Steph Curry is going to be getting a lot of rebounds. And his scoring with contact and dunking is also pretty high. So that Steph Curry, even though he can't really shoot, he's still going to be putting in work. You know what I'm saying? It's just we're going to have to use guys like Iverson, Chris Paul, people like that to shoot our three-pointers. But it's all good, though. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. Get that board. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Get it to my boy Chris Paul. Bruh. My boy Steph Curry missed his first three shots in my video yesterday. Chris Paul is already better than the Steph Curry. All right. Oh, give me those ankles. Give me those ankles. Woo bro, we hit him with the nasty finger roll, bro. Yo, I might mess around and start, their, start this Chris Paul over Allen Iverson, honestly. Because Allen Iverson, he gives some pretty good bench boosts. And recently, he's been missing a lot of shots. I ain't even gonna lie. Speaking of Iverson, you guys can see right there, bro. He just missed that shot. And he was wide open. So, I think I might keep Chris Paul as my starter. It really depends on how he plays, though. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to speak too soon, all right? I don't want to speak too soon. So, we're just going to see how he plays. And then we'll make our choice from there. Look at that. 102 mid-range. Wide open. Perfect release. And it goes in. Get that board. Let's go. Draymond getting that rebound. That's what I like to see. All right. Where you at, Chris Paul? Where you at, Chris Paul? I'm trying to get another paint shot. Actually, I want a mid-range shot. I want a mid-range step back. Splash! Woohoo! Let's get some splash emojis in the chat for my boy Chris Paul, bro. This dude has not missed a shot yet. This is how Steph Curry was supposed to be playing. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what EA was thinking, bro. Look at that. Allen Iverson missed another easy wide open shot. So, yeah, we're definitely starting Chris Paul over Iverson, bro. Look at this Chris Paul, bro. Look at these handles. Look at these handles. All right, we couldn't make that. The scoring with contact is a 96. It's all good, though. That was a tough shot to make. I ain't going to hold that against you. Bro, moving screen. Oh, I shouldn't have jumped. Oh, good steal. Was that Chris Paul with the steal? I think Chris Paul. No, that wasn't Chris Paul. I think it was Draymond who stole that. All right, can we hit another three? Splash. Yo, this dude, bro. This dude is a monster, bro. 103 three-point shot. Yeah. The only player that played this well for me was that 99 Iverson. But after I completed the Iverson, he started playing badly. Like, after I did that gameplay video, Iverson wasn't playing too well. So I'm a th I think I'm going to start Chris Paul right now. Look at that, bro. Every three-point shot he made, the only shot we missed during that quarter was that layup. And that layup was heavily guarded, all right? So you guys know how, like, with the Steph Curry, we had, like, five wide-open shots that we missed, okay? If you're wide open with Chris Paul, you're going to make it, bro. You're going to make it. You have a higher percentage of making it when you're wide open with Chris Paul than uh, the Steph Curry. And look at that, bro. 16 to 4? Bro, my AI is so good, bro. 16 to 4. 
My AI scored more points than I did, bro. That's how you know my team is stacked right now, bro. That's how you know my team is stacked. And it looks like we just hit another milestone. In these next couple of days, I will be completing the 102 John Morant and the 102 LeBron James. I think I'm only like 500 live points away. So we should be able to get that done pretty soon. So stay tuned for that, bro. Like you guys can see, man, I'm on that grind, bro. Like the old buck is back, bro. Like I've been seeing some comments saying, you know, the old buck is back. Like that's true, bro. Like I'm done playing around. Like I have to tap into the old buck, the spirit of old buck real quick. You know what I'm saying? And I had to hop back on the grind, bro, because like 29 at the, at the end of 2019 is when I got hacked. You guys know how that went. And then I got my channel back March of 2020. I was at like 91,000 subscribers at the time. So from March 2020 to now, we only gained 2,000 subscribers in like a year and a half, almost two years. That's not going to fly. You know what I'm saying? We used to gain 3,000 subscribers a month instead of 2,000 subscribers in a year and a half. So I'm done playing around. We should like, bro, like if I was on my grind, if I never got hacked and I was on my grind all the way through, I would have been at like 200K right now, I feel like. So yeah, I'm done playing around. So uh, yeah, that's my boy. Shout out to Wing Tam. Uh, he commented on my community post about the tournament. I will be making an official announcement in a video. It's going to have a separate video, all right? So the tournament is not set up yet, okay? But once I make that video, I will tell you guys how to join. I'm going to make like a separate Discord for it and everything. Like, I'm going to do this right, bro. And then, like I said, I'm going to talk to some of the YouTubers to see if they want to get in on this action. And then we're going to get it popping, bro. Because you guys already know, man, EA, they have a big update coming, bro. There's a big update coming in this game. So that's why I got to make sure I'm on my grind. Because once that update comes, bro, like this game, I have a feeling that EA is really going to make some big changes. So we shall see, man. We shall see what happens. Because uh, I don't know if you guys remember that video I made where I was uh, reacting to the Season 6 content when it was first coming out. And they were saying like this is pretty much going to be season 5.5 and then later on they're going to drop a big update so it's been it's been a couple of months you know what I'm saying since the new season came out so the big update should be coming soon all right the big update should be coming soon and they've honestly like if we compare season 6 to season 5 I could say that season 6 is better than season 5 already like like let me know how you guys feel in the comments like if you take a look at season four, season five, and season six, can we all argue that season six is the best season since season three? Can we argue that? Like, let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel. Like, what do you guys feel about this season of NBA Live Mobile? And what are your favorite things about this season? And what are, what, what are some things that you guys want them to add in their update? All right. Um, I think I'm gonna make a separate video about that. But to give a little summary, uh, my favorite things about this season are um, I like the fact that you get all of your masters back after you put them into the set. Like, remember uh, when I completed the Steph Curry? We put in the 398s and then we got the 398s back. That never used to be a thing, you know what I'm saying? So I like how they added that. Um, what else do I like? What else do I like? I like how like every single promo has been grindable, you know what I'm saying? Now. You're always able to get at least one master for each promo, no money spent. But a lot of these promos this season, <gasps> oof, they made it to where you can get the grandmasters for free as well. Now, of course, there were some grandmasters that you couldn't get, no money spent. But I would say most of them that came out, um, you were able to get, no money spent. Splash, let's go. So yeah, man, um, those are just a few little things. Uh, some things I do not like about this game. Number one, uh, the gameplay could be better. Bro, really, Chris Paul? Really, Chris Paul? Let me clean my eyes real quick. But yeah, the gameplay is number one for me. That is the worst thing about this game, in my opinion. Number two. Number two is close. Okay, number two is close. And that is Showdown. Okay? Showdown rewards, to be exact. Like, bro, like... 
there there is no incentive to play showdown like the only the only reason for us to play showdown is to get our daily objective done and that's it you guys remember back in season two when they had titans of showdowns when you could get whoa what, what, what was their overalls weren't they like 99s or something like no 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 they were 105s the titans of showdowns they were 105 overalls that you could get from playing showdown like if you go to end of season rewards right let's take a look at this bro you don't get anything these showdown tokens like bro this is like the worst part of i would say showdown is the worst part about this game showdown in arena okay and i'm gonna like you guys already know me man like if i start talking this video is gonna be like 50 minutes long bro all right but i'm gonna talk for a little bit okay i'm gonna talk for a little bit okay look at this bro for finishing NBA Legend, you get 10 showdown tokens. Like, let me clean my eyes real quick, bro. This is this is ridiculous. How do you go from getting 105 overall masters to, to, to nothing? Because look, if we go over to the sets, if we go over to the sets, and then if we go over to core, and then if we scroll down here to showdown exclusives, you could get a 97 Garnett, but you gotta grind a whole bunch, bro. And then it's like, we got a season master 97 overall. So these are cool, you know what I'm saying? Like 100 overall three point shot, like these are cool. Like I'm, I'm, I'm cool with this stuff. Like I like how, they updated this to where it goes all the way up to 97 overall and then arena we got the 97 tracy mcgrady so i like how they're doing that you know what i'm saying y'all just need to add more okay y'all gotta add more like with showdown like it would be nice if we could get like a pack you know what i'm saying like a good pack like with each division that we move up so if we go to pro we get a pro division pack, you know what I'm saying? We move to all-star, we get an all-star division pack, superstar, and then out of these packs, like, for example, right, like, this promo that's out right now, the conference semifinals, they could give us some of these packs as rewards for showdown, you know what I'm saying? Like, say I moved up to the superstar division, all right? They could have given me three 87 to 91 overall packs. For, for moving up into the next division you know what i'm saying so i just feel like ea should add better packs into the game under the core section okay like bring back the old stuff like bring back the old packs that we had back in the day you know what i'm saying like what happened to signatures what happened to legends ultimate legends like come on ea you guys have done this before we've had the good stuff before bro all y'all gotta do is just bring it back Come on, bro. All y'all gotta do is bring it back, bro. That's all y'all gotta do, man. Like I said, bro, this game is almost there. It's almost there, bro. There's just a few more things that they gotta tweak. The gameplay needs fixed, okay? It needs to make sense, all right? If, if my player has a high three-point rating and a high contested shot, I should still make it if I'm contested, right? If I'm wide open, I should make it if I have a high three-point shot. If it's a Steph Curry card, he should not have 93-pointer, all right? These, these, these attributes need to make sense. The gameplay needs to make sense. My players need to get rebounds. Bam Adebayo should not be getting out-rebounded by Steph Curry. Look at this, 96 offensive rebounding and 95 defensive rebounding but only 93 pointer. How does he have higher rebounding than three point rating? That makes no sense. So bro, like things need to make sense. And then the auction house, bruh, I've been trying to post these players up for four days straight. I've been trying to post these three players right here for four days straight and they never sold. I've always posted them up for the cheapest price every time and they still didn't sell why i don't know because this game makes no sense the game used to make sense back in 2016 and 2017 and 2018 the game made sense but now it's like bro 
if 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 my card is the cheapest on the auction house it should get sold you know what i'm saying like this doesn't make any sense it's like bro ea what you guys need to do bro you guys need to open up the auction house because bro like even if the coin sellers come back bro like you can just bro like people you could people sell coins on madden ultimate team all the time and people get banned on madden ultimate team so you can open up the auction house the coin sellers are going to come back of course but you can you can you can you can monitor the auction house you, you know what i'm saying like if 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 so, like for example right let's say i posted up a bronze player for 10 million coins you would be able to know that i'm buying coins so you would be able to ban the people that's buying coins you know what i'm saying and um of course people are going to be able to find a way around it but it's going to make it way harder for them to buy coins if you guys opened up the auction house again so i'm gonna I'm a wrap it up with this all right because this video is 20 minutes long all right for ea to fix this game what they need to do is they need to open up the auction house they need to make it to where we can sell it from player to player because if they do that our auctions will sell because we're selling to actual people instead of robots, okay? The auction house is ran by a bot. It's been ran by a bot since 2018. Shout out to EA, all right? It's been ran by a bot since 2018. I feel like the day that coin selling ended, NBA Live Mobile died. You know what I'm saying? Because they literally took out the best thing about their game like working the auction house sniping making coins you can't do that you can't snipe when the auction house is ran by robots because robots they are not going to make a mistake they're not going to post a player for cheap you know what i'm saying and you're not going to be able to buy that player and sell it for profit that's why i like you know the auction house being ran by us you know what i'm saying because then if I post up one of my players, you guys will be able to see it. And then if you guys want it, you can buy it. And bro, like if the auction house was open, we'd be able to do way more things with the content. You know what I'm saying? Like back in season one and season two, bro, I was I was having like a thousand viewers in my live streams. You wanna know why? Because I was doing snipe aways, I was doing coin giveaways. I was doing live sniping, I was opening packs, selling selling the cards, making a whole lot of coins. Like that's that's what made this game, bro. That's what made this game, not grinding live events. I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, of course you had to grind live events too, but the re the real veterans in this game, bro, we liked sniping, bro. We liked sniping, we liked building our team. You guys already know, all right? So EA, you guys know what you need to do, bro. You you guys just got to do it, okay? So hopefully this big update fixes a lot of these things. Now that's a lot to ask for from EA because it's been it's been years, bro. It's been years and a lot of these same problems have not been fixed. So we'll see. You know what I'm saying? I honestly feel like the game is still pretty solid right now though. Okay? The game is pretty solid. Like this team that I have right now, like I'm a 100 overall, okay? I built this team with only like $100. You know what I'm saying? And like I like a few weeks ago, literally like three weeks ago, my team was only an 86 and now I'm a 100 overall. You know what I'm saying? So the game is, it's not hard to build a team. There's just certain aspects that they need to fix. All right. So let me know in the comments, five things that you like about NBA live mobile and five things that you dislike. All right. Or just tell me everything. Okay. Just tell me everything. Like I said, I want to see like a hundred comments on this video. So just tell me the things you like about NBA Live Mobile right now and tell me the things that you don't like, all right? Be unbiased, don't be biased, all right? Keep it 100, all right? But that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to click that like button and subscribe if you guys are new. Turn on notifications so that you guys will be notified whenever I do drop a new video. I will be dropping some Draymond Green gameplay later on today. So stay tuned for that. I'm about to record that actually directly after I'm done with this one. All right. So, yep, we're back on that grind. Like I said, I want to thank you guys again for 93,000 subscribers. I really appreciate that. We're on that road to 100K and I'm hitting it this year, bro. There, there's no like, oh, I hope we hit it this year. Nah, I'm hitting it, bro. And I'm going to do everything in my power to hit 100,000 subscribers this year. 
all right so if you guys are sub if you guys are subscribed to the channel then you guys are in for a treat man you guys are in for a treat because bro like when i'm focused and when i'm like in my bag bro you guys just get the best content you know what i'm saying you guys win at the end of the day you guys are getting my best okay so 2016 2017 2018 buck that's what you guys are seeing right now bro my best all right so just make sure you guys have them notifications on because i am on that grind all right follow me on instagram and follow me on twitter those links will be down below and check out all of my music i got a new music video dropping later on this month so stay tuned so yep drop a like on this video subscribe if you guys are new and y'all know the slogan screw the haters i'll see you guys later peace out I'm losing co with every purchase, that shit's a burden I'm blowing trees, I'm rarely earning, and barely working Stuck in a cycle that has no purpose Afraid of the thought of becoming something that's worthless I made all my decisions, now I'm trying to reverse it Today I write with precision when I'm cooking these verses I, I, I don't know if I'm meant for this All the bright lights and abusing the mistresses As a quiet dude, am I ready to enter this? I don't know, but I'm willing to learn it quick I'm well equipped So before I hit the stage soon Just know that the motherfucking game's doomed